Hello everybody and welcome back to more political chatter here at the political chatter and this 2024 election prediction is a pretty interesting one it is between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump now Kamala Harris uh, I'm you I'm sure you know both these people Kamala Harris is the Democratic vice president of the United States and Donald Trump is the former Republican president of the United States who served from 2017 through 2021 so um, let's see how this plays out. Now, first of all, Kamala Harris is extremely unpopular. Um, I, you know, I really should cover this. I need to learn more about it. I will, I really, you know, many people will feel like, you know, many, many people are just bugged by Kamala Harris is, you know, the main thing. You know, a lot of people do not like Kamala Harris and her record, Kamala Harris, is not so good. Her record is very bad when it comes to being a prosecutor in California. And she's facing off against Donald Trump. The thing about Trump is that he's also extremely unpopular. See, the vast majority of Americans do blame... Well, I shouldn't say vast majority. The majority of Americans do blame Donald Trump for January 6th. And that ultimately will hurt him, especially among, like, parents in the suburban areas. A lot of them will stay away from Donald Trump because he did incite this violence. So, let's see how a very unpopular vice president does against a slightly less unpopular former president. Um, Kamala Harris, her approval rating is so low. It's like 28%, I think. 30%, maybe. It's it's really low. But Trump, Trump's supporters are so latched onto him that it's really going to be hard to break these voters away even after January 6th. Like, what is he at? 40% approval right now? Um, as a former president? I think when he left office, um, he was at 40% then January 6th happened, and he dropped a lot. So let's get into it. California, her home state in Washington, would be safe for Kamala Harris. Hawaii, Illinois, D.C., Maryland. Just because it is Biden's home state, I will give her the state of Delaware. Also, Biden is unpopular. Her uh, president, the person who she is in the administration with, or sh- who she serves, really. So, um... That would be solid in New York, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and Vermont would be solid. And then going to states like Oregon, uh, New Jersey, Connecticut, and then the District of Maine, Maine's first. Um, these would all be likely, 29 electoral votes in the likely column. You know, these are very Democratic states, and they don't have really any shot of going to Donald Trump. But the thing is, uh, they're always close to becoming likely for the Dem- for the Democrat. And, you know, going back to 2016, they all went likely for Hillary back then. Um, so with Kamala Harris, more unpopular. We have to remember this. Kamala Harris is more unpopular than, uh, than um, Hillary Clinton, right? Um, in 2016, uh, but thing is, Donald Trump, he's also going to be less popular than he was in 2016, but not a whole lot. It, you know, Kamala Harris is definitely going to be, definitely going to be more of a difference between Kamala and Clinton's approval, um, in 2024 and 2016 than Trump's in 2016 and 2024. Moving on to safe Trump states: Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, Montana, North and South Dakota, Nebraska, large Nebraska's first, Nebraska's third, Kansas, Oklahoma, Louisiana, Arkansas, Missouri, Kentucky, Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama, Indiana, and West Virginia. Then states like Alaska, South Carolina, Maine second. Um, we'll get to a few more, but these would all be likely. I mean, Kamala Harris is no shot in states like Iowa and Ohio. I mean, think about it. What appeal does she have here? None. Like, she will have no rural appeal. She might she might have turned out, like, if she was the Democratic nominee, she might have turned out a few suburban moms. But really, with her being so unpopular and so many Americans disapproving of her, she really doesn't have any shot of coming anywhere close in these states. I mean, you, you know, I could see people in the comments saying that one of, the, one of these or both these states would be solid. But... I, I'm just going to say I think I think that they would be very close to beco- becoming solid, both of them. I really think so, especially Ohio. Um, I think that these would be close, but not quite, so just know that. Because, um, you know, it is a 5 to 15% margin, kind of a, you know, a large uh, scale. Main second, or I'm sorry, not main second, Nebraska second. Kamala Harris, again, doesn't have much of a shot. She doesn't have any appeal. I would give it to Trump probably by likely margin. Yeah, let's make it lean just to be on the safe side. Then Kamala Harris, you know, in the South, she she won't turn out African Americans as much as Biden did in 2020. There's, you know, sure, Trump is nominee, but there will be less anti-Trump sentiment because, um, you know, he was in the middle of his term in 2020, and he, uh, well, not really, but he's running for re-election. He was the incumbent. And people, you know, kind of, that's all they thought about. But now in 2024, what they're thinking about is going to be the Biden administration. And how Kamala Harris, they feel, has uh, have not served them. And then in Florida, that will probably be likely for Trump. So more than a 5% margin, you know, 
Kamala Harris, she, she won't do well here. There's a, this growing Republican. There won't be a lot of people who will turn out for Donald Trump and saying that Florida's state that did shift of, to the right for Donald Trump in 2020, rather, uh, than 2016. And then states like Georgia, North Carolina, state lean because, you know, there are a lot of African Americans in the state and she will turn out some, but not enough to uh, win the state. Going over to New Mexico and Colorado, I think these would be pretty close. Probably close to becoming till um in New Mexico, not so much Colorado. Um, but you know, these will be lean for Kamala Harris. I don't believe that they are ready to flip saying that Hillary uh won them both by um she won New Mexico by a likely margin in twenty sixteen and Colorado by a lean margin in twenty sixteen, which was close. She won it by four point nine percent. It was close to becoming likely. So, you know, saying that and tr- and uh, Biden winning big here in 2020 i really don't see much of a path for a donald trump victory here plus he has been the president and people know uh how he is and they're not they you know are not going to vote for a second term of that it was on a lean nevada lean i see these states uh flipping for donald trump they were both biden states in 2020 uh arizona was a trump state in 2016 so uh nevada was not but yeah you know, Kamala Harris, she will turn out some suburban uh, suburban moms, but I don't think it's enough. A lot of people do not like Kamala Harris. I mean, just look at her approval rating, 30%, 28%, whatever it may be. That is a terrible approval rating. And you can't win the presidency with that approval uh, rating. But going over to Virginia, you know, Virginia has shunned Donald Trump multiple times. And ultimately, with him as the nominee, uh, you know, with a strong Republican nominee, they could win. They could take back the state of Virginia, um, as Glenn Youngkin did in the 2021 gubernatorial election. But really, with Kamala Harris, um, or I'm sorry, with Donald Trump's the Republican nominee, it's not whether or not Kamala Harris is a strong nominee in this case in the state of Virginia. It's will they vote for Trump, and that is a big no. Virginia will be lean Harris. Uh, going up to New Hampshire, this will definitely, uh, I mean, I don't see them voting for Kamala Harris at all. I really see them backing away from Kamala Harris. Um, I think Trump will pull out a lean win here uh, by a lean margin. Um, I, I mean, I, 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 I just don't see any path for Kamala Harris victory here. I mean, sure, Trump is unpopular and Hillary won this state in 2016. But um, will that be enough? For Kamala Harris to win, I mean, if you look at uh, Kamala Harris and Clinton's approval rating from, you know, now in 2016, it's so much different. And that will be enough to flip a state that only went to Hillary by uh, 0.37% in 2016, you know. So I think that New Hampshire would go lean Trump. Maine at large, on the other hand, will probably stay uh, in Democratic hands by lean margin as Hillary won in 2016. In Minnesota, this will probably be a lean hair state, uh, just because it is more likely to stay in the Democratic hands than New Hampshire. It's more of a liberal state and a state that really backed away from Trump after 2016. So I do think that this would go to Kamala Harris. But really, the blue walls lost for Kamala Harris. I mean, she might have a shot in Min- in Michigan, and I think it will be Tilt Harris, and we'll get to that. I'm sorry, not Tilt Harris, Tilt Trump um, instead of lean. But Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, lean Trump. But in Michigan, I did give it Tilt to Trump. Because, uh, you know, there are a lot of uh, liberal people here. It's as simple as that. Obama was extremely popular here. And, you know, if Obama did well here, then I really could uh, see a narrow path of victory for Kamala Harris. Here. But really, I do think that, that there are, are enough white working class voters in the blue wall, or in Michigan specifically, to give the state to Donald Trump. And that will, uh, will give him 316 electoral votes to Kamala Harris' 222. So Trump does win a second term in office so if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing uh uh, check the description there's a bunch of links to channels and patreons and yeah 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 hope to see you all next for the next video